as you know, this is a comedy show, and sure enough, moments from now, we will chat with an adult movie star who is reported to have had an affair with our president, and that will be funny. But first, I want to get serious, because a lot of Americans are focused on the future tonight, and the next big thing we have to deal with is DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Policy. There are almost 700,000 of what people call dreamers in the United States. These are young adults who are brought to this, this country as children. Many of them could face deportation if DACA isn't renewed. The deadline for DACA is March 5th. And if that doesn't, if it doesn't happen, a lot of people who've lived here all their lives since they were babies could be deported. Now, a vast majority of Americans, somewhere in the neighborhood of 87% of Americans, support DACA, but all of a sudden it's becoming a polarizing issue. It's become a bargaining chip for this stupid wall he wants to build. So we found some Americans who say they do, who are very adamant they do not support DACA, and I introduced them to a real family uh, whose future relies on it to see if we could bring people together by bringing them face to face. And well, here's how that went. So last, I'm Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, you too. You told me a minute ago you're a diehard conservative Republican. That's correct. All your life? All my life. Do you support DACA? No, I do not. Tell me why. Well, because their parents made a mistake of blatantly circumventing the rule of law. Do so you believe everything. that someone who came to the United States as a baby, who is now an adult, should be sent back to wherever they came from? I look at it this way. If they're an adult, they know they're here illegally, they could do as much as they can on their part to get legalized. At that point, no there's exceptions. no excuse. Correct. If you're in this country illegally, you need to be deported. DACA recipients have been blessed to be in this country. They can take the skill sets they have, go to their home countries, and come legally. Well, my position is, is I'm not responsible for their parents' decision to bring them here. Uh, see, I want what I want is I want every single dreamer deported. I want to start deporting dreamers even before MS-13. Can I ask you a question? Uh huh. You don't. You don't play Santa at the mall ever, do you? No, no, no. Would I send them back? Well, um, I would focus on, on criminal aliens, which is what so you would the not, if they doing. had no criminal record, you would not send them back? Um, you I you think... support DACA, you just don't realize it. <laughs> We're not trying to stop people from coming over here. We just want to slow it down and tell them to stand in line. I want you to meet somebody, OK? Mm -hmm. All right, come with me, please. Come on, let's go inside. So, this is uh, Esmeralda, and this is her daughter, Rose. And uh, Esmeralda came here. How old were you when you came to this country? I was two. You were two years old. Your parents brought you here from where? Mexico City. From Mexico City. Yes. You have a baby now. Yes. And you are a DACA recipient. You signed up. You did a background check. Yes. You were fingerprinted. You have a job? Yes. You pay taxes? Yes. You go to nursing school? Yes. How many of you think it would be right for Esmeralda to be sent back to Mexico, a country that she's never known? Well, I don't think that it would be right, but I would think that it would be legally for her to go back to Mexico and then apply like, any, like everybody else. I did it myself. I'm a product of legal immigration. Okay. okay. That's a fair point. So I think that's a very fair point. Okay. But I'd like, you to meet, I'd like you to meet somebody else if we could. Okay. Michael, come on in. So, Michael, have a seat right there, yeah. if you would. So, Michael is Esmeralda's fiance nice. and Rose's dad. Mm -hmm. Tell us about yourself, Michael. Uh, I'm born, raised in Kansas, you know, deep down the beautiful country. You know, I grew up really strong conservative. I work in the Max prison, and I'm a part time job. I'm a United States uh, soldier for the Army National Guard. And Michael is being deployed soon overseas, mm -hmm. which leaves his fiance yes. and his daughter behind, which means his fiance could be sent back to Mexico mm -hmm. while he's overseas. Mm -hmm. So do you think a man who's serving this country, who's an active member of the military, mm -hmm. do you think he should be treated like this? First off, the little girl cannot be deported. I think she should be deported. She needs to go back to her own country and work on fixing your own country. If she wants to come over legally, that's his responsibility to figure out how she's going to get back here. So as a former military guy, you don't feel that a, f a fellow veteran, a fellow military first man. Off, first, first off, she can go back 
and come in the legal Do you know way. that if she goes back, it could take 10 years for her to get her green card? Yeah, She'd have to stay in Mexico. I would get an immigration attorney. Yes. We I, do have one. And, yeah, and, what, and that's what the immigration Good. attorney told me. What you said. Jimmy. Yes. We can agree to disagree, but I know that you will concur with me that we live in a most loving, compassionate, and exceptional country. No, I don't. Oh, I don't agree well, with why that. Why not? Well, I think I this country think... has become cruel and, um, and well, well, I mean, okay. look at this no, no, the no, woman no, and her no, husband no, who is a, stop, who's stop, a, stop, in the military. Where is your compassion? Mind if we let Michael speak for a second because I can see that he has something that he wants to say. What people don't realize is the process, it, it's hard, it's grueling. We're going through it. We, as a family, have paid so much money to make sure everything's documented and right. Oh, absolutely. Okay? Mm -hmm. And what a lot of people like to focus on is what bad has happened. But the people that, who are doing everything right and who are trying to go through the process the best way we can, and financially, the, uh, you know, skipping bills, you know, even just to get the documents right, run, going without water, electricity. There was a young man, yeah. he was 22 years old at UC Irvine, and I spoke to him calmly and cogently. And I said, you are here illegally. This is not your country. I'm trying to imagine you so, as a little boy. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank I think you. I can. When she was brought here, the minute she came over that border, overstay, however she is, illegal. Okay? She's in violation of the Strike Constitution, one. no matter how it is. I'm, I'm telling you. She yeah. did nothing wrong. She was a baby. You say that you work, right? And that you pay taxes. But you don't have a social security Yes, card. I do. How, if you have you DACA, that if how you have, you can I speak? Yes. If you receive DACA. Which was unconstitutional. If you receive DACA, you get your social security card granted by the government. It has my name. Mm -hmm. It says with DHS authorization. Mm -hmm. And with that, you have to go get your biometrics done to get a work permit. Okay, now here's the other thing And about that, that work permit well, expires that. every two years. Right. Okay. Every two years. Have you been one I didn't have, have health insurance for 18. States. I'm an American citizen. I didn't That's have health okay. insurance too, but and I lost said, my eye. Can you Options for her are available. I do not think that she will be deported. Oh, well, I hope you're right. I, I do hope you're right, Robert. Low. But after what I heard from the two of them, I'm you think they should just get married right now, right? Yeah, we think yes, that I'm probably, that's a pathway I'm to citizenship. It's already available. Exactly. You would make it, you would make an exception. So we we had one defector in the group. No, 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 yes. no, no, no. Look, what are you yes. Okay, <laughs> I'm not for the record. I'm not a defector. I stand strong against DACA. Except I for in this case. In this case, yes. You're a defector. But I love you. It's okay. All right. She well, there you go. We got one of them. Come sit over here with us. You come over oh, here. No. And I'm that's it. All right. Look at how cute that kid is. That kid should be here. If we made almost no progress, I but I would like to thank everyone for spending their mornings. The rest of them. The other 700,000. Right. We got bad Santa over here. All right. Thank you, everyone. All right. All right. All right. I hope they get this figured out. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.